Recently, I showed this to my students, and I just asked them to try and explain why it happened. The questions and conversations that followed were fascinating. You know, check out this uh, video that Maddie from my period three class sent me that evening. Yeah. Obviously, as Maddie's chemistry teacher, I loved that she went home and continued to geek out about this kind of ridiculous demonstration that we did in class. But what fascinated me more is that Maddie's curiosity took her to a new level. You know, questions and curiosity like Maddie's are magnets that draw us towards our teachers. And they transcend all technology or buzzwords in education. But if we place these technologies before student inquiry, we can be robbing ourselves of our greatest tool as teachers, our students' questions. For example, flipping a boring lecture from the classroom to the screen of a mobile device might save instructional time, but if it is the focus of our students' experience, it's the same dehumanizing chatter just wrapped up in fancy clothing. But if instead we have the guts to confuse our students, perplex them, and evoke real questions, through those questions, we as teachers have information that we can use to tailor robust and informed methods of blended instruction. So these are my daughters. On the right, you have little Emma Lou. And on the left, Riley. Now, Riley's going to be a big girl in a couple weeks here. She's going to be four years old. And anyone who knows a four-year-old knows that they love to ask, why? Yeah, why? I could teach this kid anything because she is curious about everything. We all were at that age. But the challenge is really for Riley's future teachers, the ones she has yet to meet. How will they grow this curiosity? You see, I would argue that Riley is a metaphor for all kids. And I think dropping out of school comes in many different forms. To the senior who's checked out before the year's even begun, or that empty desk in the back of an urban middle school's classroom. But if we as educators leave behind this simple role as disseminators of content and embrace a new paradigm as cultivators of curiosity and inquiry, we just might bring a little bit more meaning to their school day and spark their imagination. Thank you very much.